Hello, everybody! Perfect. Indeed. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another hobby cheating video. Today, we're going to talk about uh, all about why you should be going to conventions and hopefully taking some painting classes and what you can learn and what you should expect. Let's get into it. Uh, the strict technomancer that is Vinci V. Let us get to the technique and learn it, Vinci V. So I recently got back from TMX. That's the Tabletop Minions Expo. Happens in Oshkosh, Wisconsin every year. It's Uncle Adam's uh, convention. Relatively small convention, but a lot of fun. Every year I teach at lots of conventions. Adepticon, Nova, Gen Con, TMX, and others. And it's always a great time to teach. One of the things that I really love doing in this hobby, obviously, is teaching. That's why I do these videos every week. But I want to encourage you, if it's at all possible, if it's within your budget, if you've got any kind of convention near you, to at least once make a pilgrimage to a convention and take some painting classes. I want to talk about the benefits of it, uh, what you can expect, and why you shouldn't be scared, and why it can be so valuable. So let's talk about some items that have to do with taking classes at a convention, and why it's so different than just watching a video like this. Watching videos is certainly helpful, and I encourage you to do it more, especially with mine. But, in the end, that actual instruction that you get from being in the room with someone and watching them do something, and having them be able to then give you direct and immediate feedback, is hard to actually replace. It's so valuable, and it's the number one reason why, if you can, you should check out a painting convention and take some classes. It's going to give you a chance to actually meet, talk, and work directly with the instructor. So, you're going to have a chance to actually take the individual skills you want to focus on and level them up directly. And most of the time, at most conventions, you'll see a wide array of different classes on offer. You can match this to exactly what you want to focus on in your painting. So if you want to up your basing game, work on non-metallic metal, learn OSL, learn how to blend better, whatever it is that you find your own particular challenge on your hobby journey, this is a great chance to get some really in-depth feedback in one of these classes. And usually you can prepare your own little learning track at the convention to focus in on those items that you want to, to get the most feedback from. Now, I think a lot of people are often scared to take classes. They're afraid they don't have like enough skill to do it or they don't know what to expect. So I wanna go ahead and address some of that. Taking a painting class is usually really easy. The instructors will generally provide you with everything you need from a wet palette to the miniatures you're gonna paint and so on. But be sure to read the specific instructions on whatever class you sign up for. There may be some things you have to supply on your own, such as a brush or a couple brushes or something like that. But most of the time, I know it's true when I teach and when others I work with teach, we try to provide you with everything you need. So for the most part, you bring a brush or two, you come in, you sit down, and you can focus on the learning. It's really, really easy. Painting classes are meant to facilitate uh, your advancement in the hobby without putting any more barriers in front of you. And so it's just a great opportunity for you, no matter where you are in your hobby journey, to come in and focus on it. And as I said, I wouldn't be scared. If you've always been curious about NMM, but you don't think it's something you'd paint, take an NMM class. Because usually these kinds of things, the instructor, what they're going to do is take you through a series of steps and the theory, let you do it, and then give you feedback as you're working. So one of the things I do as I'm actually working uh, through the, the, the teaching of the class is I paint whatever I'm you know explaining, show it to everybody, and then... I have them all do the same step. And then I go around and give feedback to each person. A little more of this, a little less of this, a little too bright, a little too dark, not enough punch or whatever. And in doing so, I'm able to give them really immediate feedback on where they might be going uh, a bit off, off course, where they have opportunities to improve. And that is so valuable. I love the rapid feedback of when you're having a class and you get to work with someone so directly on figuring out exactly where their challenges are. It's just such a really tactile, immediate way to learn. 
Now, classes can vary in length and intensity. So what I would recommend is if you're gonna to go to a convention, don't pack your entire con experience with just classes. You do want some time to relax, to rest, to rejuvenate, and more importantly, to then uh, internalize a lot of those lessons that you're learning. So I often teach classes as short as an hour, but there are instructors who do two-day, super 16-hour workshops, and I've done those a few times as well. Um, you know, anything in between. Figure out the right amount that you want to sign up for that's going to be uh, what you think is going to be the best for you given the time you have available, the cost, what you're willing to spend, and so on. Obviously, the hour class is usually more cost-effective than the two-day class, but both can still give you really important feedback on whatever challenge or, or uh, topic they happen to be teaching on. So it's not as though one is innately better than the other. It's usually just the breadth and depth that you can go into in those longer classes uh, can, can help get you along farther if there's something you really want to focus on. Another advantage to painting classes at conventions is it's a chance to learn from multiple people. What I mean by that is, obviously, it's not just me teaching at these things. There's lots of painters and instructors and YouTubers and everybody who's teaching there. And everybody has their own different styles and uh, methods and techniques for not only how they teach, but how they paint. And I think it's actually really valuable to take classes with different instructors and see the nuance and the difference between them. As you're starting out in the hobby or building and going along on your hobby journey, you'll start developing your own style and your own techniques that you favor and find uh, to be like within your wheelhouse, your spectrum, how you like to paint. And so it's always interesting to take classes with instructors who may not have those same sensibilities. It gives you the chance to learn something that might be slightly outside your comfort zone and to understand how they're achieving what they're achieving. It really is sort of a buffet where if you sign up for three or four classes over the course of a convention with three or four different instructors, you really do get a chance to see lots of different painting styles and techniques that you might not otherwise be exposed to. And again, each one of them is going to give their own feedback to you. They'll focus on different things. And that kind of breadth of different feedback can be really powerful for helping you rapidly advance and take your next step on your hobby journey. Remember, the important part about these painting classes is even though you're there as a group, usually it's going to be somewhere between like 12 and, you know, 20 or 25 people, there's still a lot of chance for one-on-one -on -one instruction. As the instructor is moving around or watching you paint and complete the step that they just did or whatever happens to be going on, it's very much a chance for you to get some direct feedback. I will often sit and talk to my students individually, have them tell me where they're seeing challenges, or running into any particular problems, and, and then I'll give back to them the opportunities that I see for them to improve. So it really is a chance for a lot of one-on-one -on -one feedback, even though you're in a wider group. But more importantly, because you're in a group, you can then learn from others. You can talk to other people in the class and share your own experiences. What are you succeeding that they might be challenged on, and vice versa? So you get really the best of both worlds, being in a group learning setting where you can share the experiences, the knowledge, and the advancement together, but also getting some of that crucial one-on-one -on -one time for you to receive specific feedback about what you've been working on. So there you go. All in all, like I said, I know painting classes are one of those things that not everybody can do. We don't all live near a convention. We don't all have the disposable income to go do this. So if it's not something that's in the cards for you, I understand. In that case, something like a Patreon with a review and feedback or one-on-one -on -one may be your best option because you can do that from anywhere you've got the internet. But I would encourage you, if you've got the chance, if any sort of convention that teaches painting classes is near you, and there's a heck of a lot of them around in both the U.S. and other places in the world, if you get a chance to take a painting class from an instructor, I really couldn't recommend it enough. I myself have personally tried to take a class from every artist I admire, and I still do it to this day. When I go to conventions, I still often take a class from someone, even if I think I understand the thing, or, or you know, I don't particularly have any interest, like, even if I'm confident in my skills with doing that thing, I still take the class. Because it's always amazing to learn from other people, to understand how they think, to see the styles and the way they paint. And I just, I love watching other teachers teach. So I really would recommend it. And if you're going to be at Gen Con or Nova or Adept Con, or maybe come visit us at TMX or something like that next year, hey, I'd love to have you in one of my classes, and I hope to see you there. It really is a great chance 
to learn specifically from the people who uh, you watch these videos from or who you admire their painting and to understand how their brain works and how they achieve what they're painting every day. If you liked this one, give it a like. I know this one was a little bit different, but I really wanted to talk about this and encourage you to go do it. Don't be afraid, it's a lot of fun. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. We have new hobby cheating videos here every Saturday. We'll be back with some fun techniques next week. Uh, if you've got any questions, drop those down in the comments below. I always answer every question asked. If you want to support the channel, lots of ways you can do so. Uh, of course, down below, there's all of the games that I produce with Uncle Adam for Snarling Badger. Check all those out if you're looking for a fun new skirmish game. There's a merch store down there. There's affiliate links. So if you're looking to pick up some new hobby supplies, not only does it not cost you anything extra, it often saves you money and gives the channel a nice kickback. If improving and taking your next step is something you're looking for, hey, down there is our Patreon link. We'd love to have you as part of the community. It's focused on review and feedback and taking your next step on your hobby journey. As always, though, I thank you so much for watching this one, and we'll see you next time.